giant purple Cheeto. Bro, that looks like the last turd that Grimace took. <laughs> Vesh Remy, that was so f***ing funny. You know, with such amazing content like this right here, surely there's gonna be no clones of this guy. Giant green Cheetos? Bro, that doesn't even look like a green hot Cheeto. That looks like the last turd that Hulk took. But I know who to roast. Ruth, look at y'all. Damn, this guy's handsome as fuck. Ruth, baby. I swear that these motherfuckers worship us or some sh- Oh, Ruth. Oh, Vesh Remy. Oh. Guys, shut the f*** up. All right, people, what's up? Vesh Remy and Ruth clones. We love some of them, we hate a lot of them, and I hate all of them. Today, I gathered some of the biggest Vesh Remy and Ruth clones, and we're gonna check out all of their videos. Do they actually live up to the hype? Do they actually deserve a million f***ing subscribers in two weeks? Today, we're gonna find that out today, starting off with the latest and greatest YouTube shorts industry plant, Luca, that guy. I can't swim. What do you mean? You can't swim. You're a grown adult. Okay, to actually give this kid some credit, he is actually the youngest Vesh Remy clone out of everybody we're going to be checking out today. And I would also argue he's probably one of the most successful people right now with this fucking genre. In some cases, this dude is even beating me in views at some point. So from a business standpoint, looking at this guy's content, I gotta give him the fucking salute. This 10-year-old kid, he's fucking cooking. I'm not gonna lie. And the girl I like invited me to get in the pool. I tried making excuses why I couldn't, but she insisted. Zachary, the game plan is simple. You get yourself a floaty, you get in the pool, and, and you, you f*** her. Personally, what I like about this guy's content compared to the other people we're checking out today is that his videos are not nearly as stimulating as all the other reaction short genre we're gonna be checking out. Like, seriously, some of these other motherfuckers we're checking out, they gotta have subway surfers on the left and subway surfers on the right and f***ing family guy at the top. At least when I watch his videos, I can know that I'm not gonna be getting some crazy ass shit in my face. Is this comedy kind of dry whenever he reacts to videos? Eh, yeah. But trust me, I could take it over some of these other people. So, after giving myself a pep talk in the mirror, I'm slipping on some military-grade floaties? Those aren't military-grade floaties. Those are literally just some simple orange floaties. You can get those for $10. Wow, really, Einstein? I never would have knew those weren't military-grade floaties. This is another issue I have with a lot of the reaction genre in YouTube shorts, is that the majority of the time, these guys will only state the obvious, and that's all that they will ever do. And I mean, granted, sometimes I state out the obvious, but it's not every fucking time. I began embarking into this swimming pool, ready to impress my lady friend. But as I fully submerged myself in this body of water, I realized my legs have become a tail. Wait a minute, Zachary Ryan is a merman? Whoa, holy fucking shit, he's a merman. This is probably one of my favorite parts about my genre is that we can take literally everything overly seriously. And it's obvious, right? We know these videos are fake, just like everybody else that reacts to YouTube shorts on this genre. But I think it's a problem whenever you overreact to the point where it's just like, bro, calm the fuck down. <laughs> You see what I mean, audience? There's sometimes a point where it's a little too much. This was actually my first time listening to that YouTube short. Check it out. Stop! What the fuck? Yeah, I was a little pissed off. Anyways, Luca, that guy, the recent industry plant in this genre, honestly, his content is not that bad. I would just say, you know, find some more original jokes, you know what I mean? But honestly, bro, whenever you do that, you're gonna be fucking solid. Anyways, next up, ladies and gentlemen, is Bartholomew Ski Mask. Oh, this fucking dude. The day has finally come. Tom, are you finally quitting YouTube? This is the best day ever. Whoa! That is what this dude looks like? Yeah, dude, please never turn on your face cam ever again. I thought your PNG was bad, but never mind. Mind. That shit looks like Picasso now. As you guys saw, Ben Azalar broke my diamond play button. And YouTube said the only way they would give me a new one is if I passed him and subscribed. Top, that's why not Ben Azalar's too busy spying on his ass girlfriend. Why the fuck does this dude sound like a squealing pig every time he fucking records? Oh my god, it's over, I can't believe that shit's gonna happen. He's gonna be like, holy shit, go fuck yourself in the mouth with an inhaler. Well, I did some crazy things to gain subscribers and finally passed him. And that's when this happened. YouTube was here to hand deliver my new play button. That's not YouTube, that's for Jake Paul in an orange suit. And you're not Vesh Remy, you're just a retarded yeet that fucked Tony Lopez. I finally got it! And I'm not letting anybody touch you. I was so excited, I decided to show my new best friends, Zong and Nick, but then this happened. 
You idiot, you just said you weren't gonna let anybody touch it! You know, in my humble opinion, I think you should hit the fucking delete button on your YouTube channel. You know, audience, whenever Topper Guild and Spice Kings are no longer a trendy topic to do on YouTube, what the fuck is this guy gonna do with his life? This dude's entire personality is Spice King and Topper Guild. And granted, I react to a lot of Topper Guild and Spice King videos myself, don't get me wrong. But dude, look at this screenshot, tell me what video that's not Spice King video. Wait a minute, oh for fuck's sake, he watched the video that Spicy made on me. I have to see this shit now. Time purple chicken wing. My mouth is open for you, bitch. Hold up, is that Riff the Spicy Buddy? <laughs> Your videos are so fucking ass. Anyways, long story short, ladies and gentlemen, fuck this guy, his content's ass. Next up is Screedy, one of my personal favorites. I can't believe he just said that. Let me explain. Oh no, I wonder what he said, Topper. I hope he told you to jump off a bridge. Holy shit, Screedy, tell me how you really feel. I remember when this guy, Screedy, was fucking slurping in my meat in the DMs and in my comment section around seven months ago. But since I absolutely lampooned this guy in two of my videos, this guy's content has actually changed and honestly, I fuck with it. My favorite Pokemon is Pikachu because he is so cool. Okay, what does that have to do with anything, Topper? Why do I care? Okay, the only thing I have about Screedy is that he sounds like a fucking spitting camel every time he hits the record button. Once this guy figures out his speech impediment and actually speaks proper English, I'll probably like this guy's content way more. But, uh, it's much better than this dog shit right here. Oh my god, I can't wait to see what you got away with, Topper. It's probably stupid. Oh my god, Topper Gill, what the fuck? Yes, Greedy, I'm glad you fucking changed from this dog shit. Thank you. But my best friend Shudder's thinks Squirtle's way cooler. Well, Shudder also looks like he eats too much food, so his opinion doesn't matter. Of course, Shudder's would like Squirtle. This motherfucker looks like Blastoise. Would this motherfucker even fit in a Pokeball? So today, we're gonna find out who is cooler. Level one, who gets more girls? You know, this might be one of the dumbest videos I've ever watched in my life. Like, this is getting bad. Yeah, Screedy, I would have to agree. Your video is getting pretty fucking boring. Screedy, you may have used to slurp my meat 24-7, and you may sound like a camel when you talk, but at least your content is okay. Next up is Zero Needs Coffee. Who the fuck is this? Wait, how is he still sleeping? Dude, these videos are so bad. They're starting to become self-aware of how stupid they are. They're like trying to roast themselves first before I can get to them. Why does this guy sound like a fucking Burger King drive through Hi, my name is Zero and I fucking hate Zong. How may I take your order today? Who the fuck at YouTube headquarters decided to give this guy a million subs? Oh, fuck up, this shit is making me fall asleep. Hey man, are you ready to wake him up? Yo! Because he's not sleeping. I can just, I can see his mouth moving when you pour the water on him. I am convinced this guy is actually emo. I can tell that this guy has zero fucking passion about anything he does on YouTube. I swear, this guy's videos make me want to crawl in my bed and listen to Marvin's Room 10 hour version. Bro, who the fuck broke your heart? Anyways, next up is Pop Tart Boy Man. What a stupid fucking name. Holy shit. I can't believe my girlfriend just did this. Bro, a fucking tennis racket isn't going to break the PS5 anyway. Damn, motherfucker, how close to the microphone do you have to be. Bro sounds like he's whispering so that his parents don't hear him swearing on a microphone. This is my boyfriend Zong and he loves to play video games. You start all of your shitty videos with that same intro every time. Switch it up a little bit. Dude, I think you're the last guy to be talking about switching up anything. Look at this guy's profile picture and look at your profile picture. Do I really need to say more? Yeah, your channel's fucking dog shit. Last but not least on the list is Quackery. Ignore his sister, what the fuck is that? It looks like a shit with a stick in it with another small shit on top. Do I really need to say anything? He literally copied my animation bar for bar and he literally worships me in his background. Everybody subscribe if Vesh, Remy, and Rith are better.